Hey, this is HK PSG1 Shooter uh, with another little project here working on. You're probably asking yourself, what in the hell is that? Well, this is a first time experiment here. This is actually a portable still that I've made using a little bit of uh, 3-8 stainless steel tubing, piece of thin stainless steel flashing, stainless steel pot, and a lid. I've got the piece of flashing in there tack welded at a slight angle so that it'll run right into the flare fitting of that stainless tube and then hopefully here into the collection pot. Place the lid on here upside down because the lid has a dome shape and hopefully the water will run to the lowest point which is that handle and will drip here into the collection pan and because I have the collection pan on a slight angle, it'll run downhill. The water I have in here right now, I just went down to the dock and got it out of the creek. This is a hydrometer. Just to show you, that range of red letters there is typically where seawater or a saltwater aquarium should be. And just so you know that this is actually salt water we're using. Just so you can see specific gravity of this water I just pulled out of here. It's reading about 1.026 to 1.028 or about 36 to 38 parts per trillion salt to water. And so that is pure seawater that I have in here. Fresh out of the marsh. It's starting to heat up a little bit. So I'm going to put the lid back on. And like I said, this is my first time doing this, so y'all are going to watch this along with me. We're going to keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully here in just a little while, we should have a little bit of fresh water starting to come out of this piece of stainless tube here. Again, this is going to be a portable still for survival situations. Because of where I live, I'm surrounded by salt water. I've got all the water in the world, and I can't drink a drop of it. I have a well, but the well is driven by an electric motor. If the grid goes down, that's not going to do me any good. And you can forget the municipal water supply. That'll be down. So I have to have a way to be able to purify my water or even desalinate it and extract fresh water from salt. And if I take this little setup here out to the campfire, put a collection cup under it, it's not going to produce a lot of fresh water. I mean, it's not going to be enough to take baths with and such, but be enough to save your life, perhaps. So sit here and watch for a little while and see what happens. Okay, well, we're getting some water out of it now, finally. Alright, so I'm going to take this water here that I've boiled off, and I'm going to pour it into my hydrometer. You can see here that the level has been reduced to between zero and six parts per trillion of salt. So indeed this is fresh water. Just for quick comparison, this is municipal water supply. You can see that the municipal water supply actually has higher salinity than the water I just produced from pure salt water. This is at 10 parts per trillion.
So my little portable steel does work. Doesn't produce a lot, but it does produce just on a small scale like this.